Happy New Year. It's Maddie, your mortgage dear at. Last year I touched on this, but consumers are not shopping for a mortgage every year. However, sometimes there are unique situations like right now when you're refinancing only after a few months. Other times it makes sense because you can do it without paying any closing costs while lowering the rate. Some others never need to refinance, so it really all depends. Well, what's the story with APR and how do you know when you're getting a good deal? One simple method is to compare the note rate to the APR and determine what's the true cost to get this loan from that company. Now, this scenario is best applied towards fixed rates. But since the last credit crisis and the amendment of TILA Reg Z, it brought about the sweeping change to have all the lenders play by the same rules. One way they did this was the creation of two documents, the loan estimate and the closing disclosure. Before all of this, there was just a good faith estimate, but these documents weren't controlled or regulated. So now the consumer is more educated as they are in most things. Most folks today know how to shop for a car and understand the difference between dealer invoice and MSRP. Likewise, today's loan shoppers understand lending terms a bit better than they did last time. Now, not to worry if you don't, here's a quick cheat sheet. First, speak to all the possible lenders on the same day. Did you know rates have the propensity to change daily with market, market conditions? And yes, it's possible to call the same lender every day and get a different price each day. Again, this is comparing the same scenario with the price just from the day before or a day apart. And usually the market forces will cause lenders to change their rates daily, sometimes within the day. So imagine you had compared a lender from Sunday who was quoting you rates from Friday of the previous week to another lender Wednesday, the following Monday, you know, let's just say three days apart. So maybe the rates improve from Friday to Wednesday and the loan officer you're speaking with last, the one on Wednesday may not be cheaper than the one you spoke with on Sunday evening. Service is not a commodity, but rates are. Rates are just like gas at the pump, the price of a stock on the exchange. It's all subject to market conditions. Now, remember Milton Friedman, because every lender is going to have some cost to do business. So try to get equal comparisons by comparing each lender with their base fees, with their best rate, with no points. It's not always an easy request as some brokers may have to charge you on the deal in respect to an origination fee, while some large banks may just charge a flat fee. And let's just say a correspondent lender maybe offer a mix of the two using a big bank for the funding, but can offer a lower rate like that broker. But again, that correspondent lender may have some higher direct costs. So the true cost of doing business will wash out in the APR. It's just important to realize that all lenders are going to have some minimums to make their loans saleable. For example, title, appraisal, uh, some basic costs like credit report and flood. And credit report and flood are direct costs to the lender. So don't get too excited if they vary some. And this happens with most third-party fees, and it's not ultimately directly related or dictated by that lender. Then compare the APR to the note rate. You know, the APR isn't as critical as it is to the difference between the note rate and the APR. No one's going to make a mortgage payment based on the APR. It's only going to be based on the note rate. But the note rate is what you will use to compute your monthly payment, your principal and interest. You know, the APR is an expression of what it costs to get that money. So what you want to do is find an APR that's as close to the note rate as possible. Here's an example of good, better, and best when comparing the note rate to APR for, let's just say, a 30-year fixed. To finish, get the figures in writing and compare direct fees like origination or discount points and the total cost if possible. Sometimes a lender will ask you to complete a loan application and run a credit check, either a soft or a hard pull. Others may be just fine with asking you a few details of the transaction and supplying you with a closing cost worksheet. But this way you can identify what is the cost to do business? Last thought, always confirm if there's a prepay penalty or if it's required to have your loan a minimum period of what they call seasoning before you sell or refinance. Prepay penalties aren't prevalent on primary loan, primary homes, but hey, you never know. Since rates change and improve when you least expect it, it's always a good idea to know this before it's too late.
Hope this helps and hope to see you more in 24. Have a great day.